Journal Record Managing Editor Adam Brooks joins us with a look at news and business this week. Adam, there's a new report showing the value of a college degree. What's it all about? That's a report out of OU by an economist, and he looked at the job market from the year 2000 to 2013. And what he found is that the pace of job growth for those with college degrees is growing much faster than those without. And of course, that also affects salaries. Over that time period, there was more than $900 million in salary growth for those with college degrees and only about $69 million for those without. The House has cleared legislation tightening regulations on tobacco. Tell us about that. Right. The House passed two bills that try to limit tobacco sales. One looks at online sales and mail order sales to individuals, limiting how many they can do. That's also meant to stop con contraband. And another would force wholesalers to report their sales monthly. Now, those pass overwhelmingly in the House, but a state senator says that they're in for more scrutiny when they get to the other side of the Capitol. A state water official is coming under fire for alleged conflict of interest. Right. His name's Tom Buchanan. Now, he's the vice president of the Oklahoma Water Resources Board. He's also president of the Oklahoma Farm Bureau. What's interesting about that is the Farm Bureau is suing the Water Resources Board. So there's a consumer group that says that's clearly a conflict of interest. He says that because he doesn't have a direct financial interest in the outcome of the case, it's really just a misunderstanding. It looks like Tulsa may be losing some accounting jobs. They are. American Airlines is moving 130 accounting jobs out of the area. Those jobs will land in either Dallas or Phoenix. But the airline has said employees who lose their job can apply for different jobs in the company, including some that will still be in Tulsa. Chesapeake has announced plans for a possible spinoff. What's behind the move? Right. So unlike some other energy companies, Chesapeake has an oil field services division called Chesapeake Oil Field Services. And that includes companies that do things like drilling, hydraulic fracturing, uh, hauling, equipment rental, several different things. Now, as part of its overall plan to slim down and get rid of debt, Chesapeake wants to get rid of Chesapeake Oil Field Services. The plan would spin off into a company called 77 Energy. And uh, there's uh, still other possibilities. They could sell it to someone else. They could look for another way to do it. Uh, either way, it's a big move for Chesapeake. It should cut their employee base almost in half. What are you working on for next week? On Monday, we're going to take a look at soil farming. That's a process that takes byproducts from the uh, drilling process and spreads them over agricultural land to help neutralize the, the toxic chemicals. Uh, there's a company in Oklahoma that's looking for ways to be more precise and more efficient and safer with that process. Adam Brooks, Managing Editor of the Journal Record. Thank you. Thank you.